Welcome back everybody, Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com. I want to talk a little bit today about this uh, catfish lure, catfish rig here, whatever you want to call it. Whisker Seeker calls them catfish lures. This is actually the X3 Rattler is what it's called. They have a number of different uh, variations of catfish rigs or lures that they sell. and. Uh, I've been using this X3 a lot here over the last couple of months and been posting a lot of pictures, videos. People have seen these uh, in some of that stuff that I've put out. Had a lot of questions about rigging them and what they do. So I just want to talk a little bit about that. Basically the way this is set up is just like you would rig a Santee rig. You've got a float on here to help lift this bait up off the bottom, get it up out of the mud sediment into the line of sight of catfish. Pretty standard stuff. I've talked about that a whole lot. Putting a little peg float a little bit below the hook is uh, you know, pretty common practice for a lot of catfish anglers. Well, the difference between that and this rig that I've got here, the X3 Rattler from Whisker Seeker Tackle, is that it rattles and it makes noise. And I have been testing a lot of different variations of rigs with sound and some different things like that that I'll be talking about much more in the future. But specifically with this, I want to talk about how you rig this up and what it does. So what you get when you buy this X3 Rattler from Whisker Seeker is this piece right here from the float to the hook and what I've done is just taken a 50 pound monofilament leader and added it here to the top of this X3 Rattler so I've got probably 12 inches there and then I've added my swivel and a sinker bumper and I've got a three ounce no roll sinker on here. So you can rig this, you know, however much line you want to put on here. It really all depends on where you're fishing and how far the fish are holding up off the bottom. I've got some of these rigged up with two or three feet of line here so I can get baits further up off the bottom. And then I've got some that are still short. So the big difference between this and what you're going to get fishing with a Santee rig is first of all you've got a bigger float, much bigger float than you're going to find with most Santee rigs and this is an EVA foam float instead of a styrofoam float like you usually would use with one of those rigs. You know they have tendency to fall apart and the fish hit them and they crack and break you have to replace them very often. Well these things are tough and uh, you're not going to tear these up. Beyond that, the biggest difference is the way this is set up, you can see here that as it moves, it makes noise. Hopefully you can hear that, hold it up to my microphone there. And as that moves through the water, it rattles and makes noise. And we messed around a little bit running these underwater and trying to get a camera down there and get the sound and you can hear it. One of these days I'll try to catch that on video. but. If you're going to drift fish, if you're fishing in current, control drifting, anything where you've got some movement to the bait or movement to the water, that rig is going to rattle and make noise under the water. I've had some incredible success with this and it kind of forced me to think outside the box a little bit and start testing some other things with sound and how it impacts catfish. and. Um, I've had some very interesting results to say the least. So that's how you rig the Whisker Seeker X3 Rattler. Fish with it, obviously just bait it up with a big chunk of cut bait and uh, cast it out there. We're doing a little drift fishing right now and uh, you know just kind of dragging these around. I've got some rods out with and without these X3 Rattlers and uh, I'll come back in the future and talk about some of these other catfish lures and rigs from Whisker Seeker, how you rig those and some tips 
for fishing with those and then I'm going to talk a whole lot more at some point about some of my results and how sound impacts catching catfish. Until next time, this is Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com. Make sure you hit that like button below and make sure you get subscribed to our YouTube channel. We were moving along there. It didn't take very long, about 10 minutes. And we hooked into our first fish. We've had a few little bites, but I hadn't hooked any or had any real good big fish bites yet. That one right there lost his bait. That's the first real good take down we had. It's a monster, but... Putting up a pretty good tussle.